The US Federal Correctional Complex consists of many prisons, but they all seem like sanatoriums compared to ADX Florence, the maximum security correctional facility. Today we are going to talk about the conditions under which prisoners are held at ADX Florence. Subscribe to our channel and like it! ADX Florence was allocated $60 million to build, and the Fremont County government bought the land for the correctional facility. And all in order to provide local jobs, as the new prison required a huge number of staff, about 900 people. ADX Florence began operating on January 10, 1995. Since 2006, when Marion became a medium security correctional facility, it is the only prison in the States with the strictest possible regime. ADX Florence is striking in three ways. First, the infrastructure is as elaborate as possible. All the cells and offices are sparkling with cleanliness. You will not see any shoe marks, insects or burned out lamps. It seems as if ADX Florence was built by an idealistic architect, who was a perfectionist and went crazy with the slightest imperfection. Secondly, absolute silence. In ADX Florence no sound can be heard. The guards are issued special silent booths so as not to disturb the silence. Deadly silence rings throughout the prison. The criminals do not cross paths with each other at all. They sit 23 hours a day in their fully soundproofed cells. Lawyers can walk through the entire facility, but they are only allowed to meet with their clients. Third, special guards. All prisons have some kind of contact between inmates and guards, but not at ADX Florence. Here the guards have virtually no contact with the inmates. Many activities, such as opening doors, take place remotely. Inmates are monitored by video cameras. In addition, the guards have strict instructions that must be followed. The guards do not look the inmates in the eye and do not swear. Their work is very monotonous and is repeated every day. There are an incredible number of correctional facilities in the States. There are more than 4,000 of them. But only one of them, ADX Florence, uses a control unit system. Such a system involves criminals beings in maximum isolation. They spend 23 hours a day alone with themselves. ADX Florence holds criminals whose escape could be a threat to the national security of the United States. In addition to them, those who are prone to commit serious crimes and those who pose a threat to others in regular prisons are held here. Surveillance cameras are not the only equipment at ADX Florence. The prison is equipped with motion sensors. There is an almost 4 meter long fence with barbed wire, AK Bruno spiral, around the perimeter of the prison. But that's not all. The most dangerous criminals are guarded around the clock by an armed escort. To prevent contact between the prisoners, the prison is perfectly soundproofed. All inmates are housed in single cells. The size of the cell is 3.5 by 2 meters. Everything inside, including the furniture, is made of cast concrete. Even the plumbing is not simple. The toilet is automatically blocked in case of blockage. The shower is equipped with a timer. There is no tap in the sink, with which the prisoner can harm himself. The cell has a window measuring 1.2 by 1.2 meters. From it you can see only a piece of the roof and the sky. This is done for a reason. Such a view from the window confuses the prisoner and he cannot understand where he is and how to escape from here. In this way, the risk of escape and disorderly conduct is greatly reduced. If the prisoner behaves very well and does not break the rules, a small screen resembling a mirror is installed. The device itself is bolted to the wall. Educational and religious programs are broadcast on it. 
prisoners are completely alone, practically around the clock. They can only communicate with the guard who brings them food. Only communicating is a strong word. The guard silently hands over the food and leaves. By the way, they feed the criminals mostly mashed food. That way they can't harm themselves with food. One hour a day is allotted for a walk. No one knows when it will take place. The offender can be picked up at any moment, handcuffed and chained and sent for a walk. It takes place in an enclosure something like an empty swimming pool. The size of this room is tiny, 10 steps diagonally or 31 steps in a circle. The prisoners walk all alone. On rare occasions, for good behavior, prisoners are exchanged a walk for a call to a limited circle of people, which includes a lawyer. ADX Florence can hold a total of 419 inmates at a time. However, no such cases have ever occurred. ADX Florence is designed to re-educate the most violent prisoners. Three years are set aside for each such offender. It is believed that after a long period of solitude, even the most desperate become calm. There are two ways to get into ADX Florence. The first is to become a serial killer of the violent type. In other words, to attack prisoners and guards while serving time. The second is to become a criminal who threatens national security. For this reason, there are many terrorists sitting in ADX Florence. Some of them are members of Al-Qaeda and some are unrelated criminals, such as Theodore Kaczynski. By the way, ADX Florence prison has never had a single case of coronavirus. And all thanks to the strictest possible isolation. Criminals are encouraged for good behavior. They are given books, newspapers and on rare occasions a radio and television. Also, for complying with the old rules and regime, prisoners can be transferred to other prisons, where the regime is not as strict. But this leniency does not apply to terrorists and other enemies of national security. There has not been a single escaped attempt from the ADX Florence since 1995. Cameras on every corner, motion detectors and other devices Keep an eye on what goes on inside. If danger strikes, security guards instantly lock all 1,400 doors. This is done at the push of the button in the surveillance center. Security is also handled by service dogs patrolling ADX Florence and a 3.7 meter barbed wire fence. ADX Florence holds some of the most notorious criminals in the world. A New York court sentenced Guzman, 62, to life in prison and 30 years on top, all without the possibility of parole. Joaquin Guzman created the Sinaloa drug cartel in the 1980s. For 25 years he ruled a gang of real thugs who killed all the unruly. Guzman escaped Mexican prisons twice. But in 2016, Mexican authorities rearrested the head of the drug cartel and extradited him to the States a year later. Everything was thought out in detail. Anti-aircraft cables stretched over the prison grounds, checking all the books and newspapers for cipher left by the prisoners. All newspapers that come into the prison are stripped of any mention of the terrorist attack of 9-11. In 2007, for the first time, journalists were given the opportunity to visit ADX Florence prison. They all commented on the oppressive feeling of silence and the absolute mechanical order of the prison. Today, ADX Florence has become a successful example of what it does. Incarcerate the most dangerous criminals and rehabilitate the most violent ones. Some of them, after many years of incarceration, are allowed to attend group classes, and the most obedient are returned to the prisons where they originally served their sentences.